Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to download the 40 gate VMware package and put it into your home VMware lab to test it or practice your 40 gate skills. As you can see from the screen, I have a simple topology designed for this lab. So we're going to have one 40 gate firewall virtual machine in our VMware workstation environment. There will be three interfaces. One interface go to DMZ. We're going to have Windows 2016 server installed there. And the second interface is going to LAN network, which is our internal network. The third interface is going to internet, which is WAN interface. For this lab, I'm assuming you already installed VMware Workstation and have your Windows 2016 server installed. And also, I have Windows 10 machine as a test machine installed, which is going to different network. One for server 2016 will be in our DMZ network. And the Windows 10 will be on our LAN network. Third interface, we're going to internet using the bridged network. Now let's start it. Let's start from downloading a 40 gate image for our VMware workstation. If you go to Fortinet website, you will notice there's a support menu. Of course, to access those, you need account. So as you can see, I already created my own account. Then you can log in with your discount, then go to support menu. On the support menu, you have firmware download a tab and also VM images download tab. So we're gonna use in the VM images. You will need to select the product for T-Gate and also you need to select platform. Based on your environment, select the one you will need it. For my environment, I'm using VMware SXI this menu since I'm using VM Workstation. So the latest version is 7.0.3 here. The first one is for upgrade. The second one is for new deployment, which is what I need. It's only 73 Mac. It won't take too long to download it. Um, I'm gonna pause the video for now and wait it completed. Then I will continue. The new deployment 40 gate VMware image has been downloaded. This is a 73.4 megabytes package we can extract it to a folder we will get about six OVF files and the two VMDK for those six OVF files that for a different situation different VMware ESSI version um, I found it from Fortinet document library to show you what's the difference. If you are using E1000 NIC drive, use VM64. If you're using ESSI 6.5, then you're using HW13 this OVF file. And if you're using vSphere vCenter v and vCloud using the vapp.ovf file. So for us, it's a no big difference. So for me, in this case, I'm gonna try to use this one to see how it goes. So what I gonna do is I gonna double click. It will automatically trigger a VMware workstation to import this virtual machine. Of course, there's an end user license agreement. Next, and it will automatically create a folder. So we're gonna import it. Now you can see the settings. We have 10 interfaces 
and then we are using two gig memory and then one virtual CPU processor. So for memory, two gig, if you are using multiple security features, then you have two gig, else you can put it down to even one gig byte, it will still run it fine. And I don't need 10 interface, I only need that four. So one for management, then LAN DMZ. So you're gonna have four interfaces. After you made that change, you can start your virtual machine. Once partitioning and formatting completed, your VMware is going to be rebooted again. Finally, we are getting this 40 gate dash VN64 login. Um, the default username is admin. And the uh, password is empty, you are gonna need to change your password. So, after you change your password, you will be welcome to log in, and you can see the interfaces. There's a uh, template, the port one, as you can see, it's already allowed access pin HTTPS, SSH, and FGFM. So we're gonna make some changes. We're gonna change the IP address on this interface. And we're also gonna allow HTTP access to it. Set mode static and then set the IP. I'm gonna show system interface so we can have IP, we can have HTTP access. Right now, we can go back to our gate management IP access using the password we already change it to login so it asks him perform some basic for security 40 gate setup we can do it lay down and uh, this um, new feature video demo for that uh, we can turn it off we don't need to watch that the first thing when you log into FortiGate virtual machine, you will see the dashboard status. And I want to show you is the evaluation license. Since we are using FGT this package, not FOS this VM package, we got two weeks evaluation license to use. So it expires will be on January 16. Today is January 1st. I make this video. So that's how we got our trial version to use. So we logged in. We're gonna do some basic setup to get our Windows 10 and the Windows 2016 in different zones to use FortiGate to go to internet. Let's start with some basic uh, configuration such as um, host name. So I'm going to change it FGTVM64, change the time zone to Eastern to match my time zone, apply. 
we also need to set up our static route so we can create a default route go to 192.162.2.1 which is pointing to our internet router go to internet here and uh, let's say interface port 1 it's enabled default route configured next step is interface we have port 1 configured with 192.168.2.18 we cannot assign a role for it we cannot assign a when interface we call it when For 2, we're going to assign it as our DMZ. So we're going to have row as DMZ and IP address is 172.17.1.18 slash 24. Okay, enable pin as well. For 3, gonna be our internal interface IP 10.10.1.18/24 enable pin so we can leave port 4 here for now uh, we are not configuring anything on it we configured basic topology for this 40 gate VMware firewall we have done our basic topology configuration. Now we're gonna configure the firewall policy to allow our Windows machines to go to internet and also allow our LAN network to access DMZ network. Since we haven't configured anything yet, the machine won't be able to go to internet or pin each other for the testing purpose you may need to turn off windows firewall on the windows machine as i did here from win time i cannot pin windows 2016 server as well now we can put the firewall rules in go to policy firewall policy by default you should have implicitly deny rules deny any any now we're gonna create a couple of firewall rules first one we're gonna create LAN internet access rule this gonna allow LAN network Go to internet through the WAN interface. We cannot allow any traffic originally from LAN network to internet, means any on any service will be accepted. We also need to enable NIT. This is our first rule. Second rule DMZ internet access it's going to be coming from inter DMZ network through WAN to internet source will be any destination also any service any NAT rule also being enabled the third rule is from LAN network to DMZ we don't want the DMZ go back to LAN, but we want the LAN network go to DMZ. So LAN to DMZ access. Income mean interface is LAN. Outgoing interface DMZ. Source will be all. Destination will be all. Service will be all.
you can put NAT or you don't need NAT. Now we can start with testing those lures. This is our DMZ server. We're gonna pin to internet. It's working. Win tem pin to internet. Working well. We can pin another internet IP. Working well. We also can pin Google. We will get the DNS resolution IP address, and then we can pin it. Same thing we can, since we have LAN to DMZ lure, we also can, should be able to pin. So that pretty much everything in today's video. We showed you how to download 40 gate VMware virtual machines and how to install it into your VMware workstation as your lab. We also did the basic configuration for topology and created the basic lure to go to the internet and access from LAN to DMZ. If you found anything useful in this video, please give me a thumb up. Also, please subscribe my channel if you haven't. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Thank you.